Hey, welcome back. Thanks for watching, everybody. Today I'm going to do the third soak on a pair of Brave Star raw salvage denim jeans I bought uh, about a year and a half ago, I think. This is, uh, I've worn them about 300 times, probably 300 plus times. Uh, I've soaked them twice. So we're going to do a third one today and kind of see how the fades come out. Uh, they've already turned out pretty dope. Uh, yeah, let's go from there. So let's look at the jeans before I toss them in the top. All right, so there they are. And we get close and look. All right, they've faded pretty nice so far. Um, yeah, I'm digging it, you know. Uh, one thing we're going to focus on when we clean, though, is where I cuff the jeans. As you can see, a lot of dirt gets trapped there over time. All right, so you want to clean that out. Um, and you can also see we're getting some real, real good fraying in there. But yeah, we're going to clean that and then flip it over. As you see here, pretty good fades as well. Yeah, these broke in really nice. I'm definitely a fan of uh, Brave Star's raw denim. All right, so we're looking good there. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna fill the tub, we're gonna do a little scrubbing, and we'll let them sit. Now that the tub is filled, uh, what you wanna do if you're cleaning these jeans is throw them in the water, uh, you know, and hopefully you've identified the spots that you want to clean before you throw them in there because if it's not really dirty, it's going to be hard to see those uh, spots. So just remember where they were. I marked in my mind uh, where I wanted to clean. So now I'm just going in here getting the jeans wet, just scrubbing with the toothbrush that I have. Um, there's no harsh chemicals on the toothbrush or anything like that. I'm just scrubbing uh, some problem, problem spots. Uh, like I said, I'm scrubbing out those cuffs because they trapped a lot of dirt, you know what I mean? Because I have the jeans cuffed and it's just a good spot for dirt to get trapped. So I'm gonna scrub those. Um, yeah, so that's really about it. Uh, and as you can see here, just moving to the other leg, scrubbing that. Uh, some people like to use like Wool Light Dark. Uh, I know Brave Star sells a detergent on their site. Honestly, I just haven't gotten around to buying any, so I'm just scrubbing by hand here. And we're gonna see how this turns out uh, in a little bit. All right, again, just flip it over. You know, you want to check the front. There's some spots there, obviously, around my pocket. Um, you know, spots all over the jeans. Just want to kind of do some spot cleaning. Uh, and then just kind of check your work, all right? Uh, once you think you've done a good job, then you're going to go in there and pull the jeans out of the water. Well, actually, hold on one more spot. Yeah, so you want to get back in there, uh, make sure to check your work, like I said. Uh, once you're sure that you got all the troublesome spots off of there, and put that toothbrush down, whatever you're using to clean it, and you're going to flip those jeans inside out. I mean, once you do that, then you're just going to put some heavy objects on top of it. You'll see me do that in a second coming up here. Uh, really, shampoo bottles, cup of water if you fill it up, anything you got laying around in there that'll just make sure the jeans don't float. You just want to keep them submerged. All right, and once I get those on top of there, I usually let the denim, the jeans sit in here in the tub for 45 minutes. And when that's up, we'll come back, we'll check it out, we'll see how the jeans look. Uh, how I like to dry them, and we'll go from there. Okay, so your denim's ready to come out of the tub. So what you want to do is go over to that bathtub, get anything out of your way. Uh, you want to pick up the denim, give it a few good shakes, because there's going to be a lot of water on there, and you don't want to flop that onto the floor. Uh, shake it out a few times. Uh, once you do that, you have the towel on the ground. You're just going to throw the denim right on top of there. You're going to see me do this in a second. All right, once you throw the jeans on top, you're going to straighten them out and then you're going to flip that little top over there like a little lip and then you're going to roll them up nice and tight squeezing out all the excess water uh, when you get to the end you're going to see me wringing it out a little more get as much water out as possible all right and once you finish up with this you're going to take the jeans out from that towel and you're going to hang them up over your shower curtain over a railing something like that let them air dry um, if it's your first time put them on when they're damp uh, if you've worn these a few times, I just let mine dry all the way and throw them on after they've dried all the way through, all right? There you go. All 
right, so let's take a quick look at what it looks like after these dry. So first thing I always like to check is that Brave Star logo. All right, that's looking awesome. Um, if you followed along when I first got these jeans, this was like white. So now that leather's really broken in. Uh, let's kind of take a snap there and look from just kind of back a little bit further. Uh, sorry about the light. Having some lighting issues. There we go. So we'll just look back from like a higher level here. All right, honeycomb's looking good from a distance. You got the pocket fades. All right, that's pretty nice on the back. And then let's flip these over. Let's see what the front looks like. Oh yes, that's looking good. Um, next pair I get, I will not be putting my cell phone in the pocket. That just looks hideous, all right? Uh, laugh at me all you want. Um, this one I like, pocket knife fade. That's kind of cool. Uh, you got the good whiskering here. Uh, yes, that's, that's solid. All right, I tend to take a knee a lot more on the left side because my right knee, I've had some problems in the past, so that shows there. And you got some fraying here on the cuffs. A little bit in the back. All right, same thing here. You got some fraying there. All right, a little bit on the back here as well. Uh, that's, you know, from a lot of dirt building up in there. Uh, also, it's just indicative that, you know, if you don't wash your jeans a lot, uh, they tend to fray a little quicker. So, all right, so that's that. Um, yeah, let's kind of look over some other spots here. That, you know, everyone's into. So, I like that you can really see the, the what's that, the waft or whatever? I don't know what that's called, but you can see the lines from where it's stitched, you know, as it starts to fade. Um, you don't just see, like, kind of crisscross patterns. So, that's solid. That's awesome. Um, yeah, you got some nice fading around the zipper and one second guys my light just fell over on me sorry about that it's got some good fading obviously here a lot of fading going in and out of the pockets um yeah looking good all right one more time we'll get up close on the back i just kind of see some key areas that really fade starting to get a little fray there so that's cool i mean overall i'm i'm pretty impressed 300 wears this is my third soak, and I'm going to put these on in a moment just so that everyone can see how they look, um, how they've really broken in. They're still really pretty stiff, um, definitely not as stiff as when I first got them, but I'd say they're still stiffer than like a pair of, you know, Levi's you get off the shelf, and I love Levi's. That's the only other pair of jeans that I wear. All right, so here we got again. This is from up high. We'll take a look. I'll get my light on there. And sorry, I'm not like a professional camera guy, everyone. I'm just, you know, a guy that does reviews and posts some videos. So here's what we look like. I'm gonna get a shower, I'm gonna throw these on, and I'll be back. Thanks for watching. All right, here we are. This is what they look like after they've been cleaned, soaked, and put back on. Like I said, 300 wears, uh, 300 plus wears, three soaks. Uh, let's do a quick spin around. Let's take a look at just how everything looks on here. I think they look awesome. They're clean, they smell good, satisfied. All right, got honeycomb going on, looking good back there. All right, like I said, next time, no cell phone because this just looks silly. Uh, and at this point, I'm really satisfied with the level of blue that these have achieved. I know they'll fade more, but I'm not going to make these my everyday wear. I'm going to rotate these into uh, my rotation of all the other denim that I have. And when I get my next pair of Brave Stars, I'll do a review of those so everyone can see it. And yeah, I hope this helps. I hope everyone's washing their hands doing their part to stay healthy right now because if you know if you're watching this in the future there's this virus going around making everyone uh have to stay inside right now so that's my bit of a time capsule for those of you down the road that might watch this video because we're gonna get through this uh, but anyway that's my little plug sorry about that uh, i've been cooped up for a while these are the brave star blue collar salvage uh 300 plus wears three soaks I'm loving them. I'll definitely buy Brave Star again, quality products. And Brave Star, if you're watching or listening, please send me any products. I'll review them for you. All right, you got to throw that out there. Like and subscribe, guys. Talk to you later.